All right, now I'm going to show you what the new system upgrade is and what it looks like. First of all, we're going to show you how to do it on your, my iPad. You might have an iPad, an iPhone, a Kindle, or a Sprint phone, or whatever at home, but it's going to look the same. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the Settings button. So we hit the Settings button, and then we're going to go all the way up to Wi-Fi. In your home, we're probably going to select your network. I'm going to show you how to do networking later, but it'll be your home network. And if you're on a mountaintop somewhere and you are a standalone system and the piano was just delivered, it'll just say QRS Piano on it. You would select it. Once you get a check mark, hit your home button on the iPad, and it brings you back. What we want to do is go to Safari now. Go to Safari. Touch the address bar here, the left address bar, not the search bar. And we're going to dial in 192.168.1.1 and push go. What that does is it loads up now the Pianimation 2 GUI, the graphic user interface. It takes a couple seconds to load up and voila. The new buttons that you're going to see by doing the update okay, is going to be play piano, record, practice, system setup, buy music, information, or shutdown. That's everything right there that's new. If we want to play piano, we just hit the play piano button. Then we're going to hit songs. We can scroll through the songs, whatever you want. And uh, basically just touch, a, just touch a song and it, and it plays. Turn the volume up a little bit. On the side of the street I knew, girl that looked like you. push play on any song, album, artist, genre, anything like that. We've added a couple different things now with songs and we have some on here. You're going to push genre. You're going to go scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a sing-along button now. There's microphones next to all the words. So what happens, we can actually touch the song, okay, and it stops, it starts playing right now. Now we're trying to make sure that we have all the songs with karaoke coming up in the future. Now when the singer starts singing, we touch the microphone button. So if I touch the microphone button, it brings up the words. So now you can go around your house, have a party, sing. And by the time the uh, first song is actually sung, You'll never get the iPad on anybody's hands. It's a blast. Everybody will have a lot of fun. If you don't want the Steve Perry singing, you mute him. Go back and touch the microphone next to the song. Now you can sing. Most people like to have the singing with it, so you don't sound so great. There's an interlude to get him back singing. Just touch again the mute audio button. I'm muting it. So that's one way that the new Pianimation 2 update is going to add all the words to every song on there. Eventually it'll be, it might take us six months to get all the rights to do all the music, but we're working on that now. So you have birthday and Christmas and Frank Sinatra and Journey and whoever else, the popular ones that are karaoke songs. So that's one of the new features we have with the new update. Second feature is record. So remember we have play, we have play piano, record, practice. So second button down is record. I'm going to hit record, and then I'm going to push the record button. And it's going to say, oh, look at you're recording now. So now... <laughs> is that file. I can push play and it'll play back that file just like I played it. Okay, so it's great for anybody that wants to save all their performances and everything else, but now I can push open next to that file. It says, oh, what do you want to open? I open it in this program we call Symphonics Evolution. It's $12.95 on your iPad in the App Store. But what it did is it recorded all my notes. Now I can see 
mail it to somebody. I can mail it as a MIDI file.